Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Millions of Americans have become perpetual dieters, trying one diet plan after another to lose excess weight. During the 1980s, Americans were told the secret to losing weight was to reduce fats in their diet. Any food associated with fat was placed on the diet hit list. Millions of Americans drastically cut fats from their diet and still gained weight. Today, the mantra is, I cut carbs from my diet and the weight just fell off. Does cutting carbs result in permanent or temporary weight loss? What does it mean to cut carbs? And what exactly is a carb? Are there good and bad carbs? Or are there good and bad high carb foods? What exactly is a carbohydrate? Simply put, carbohydrates are sugars and starches. Carbohydrates are one of four sources of food energy measured in calories. The other three sources are alcohol, fats, and proteins. Sugars and starches both provide four calories per gram. Minimally processed and unrefined carbohydrates also provide fiber, also known as roughage. Soluble fiber provides four calories per gram, whereas insoluble fiber provides zero calories. Dietary fiber listed on nutrition facts label include both soluble and insoluble fiber. Carbohydrates can be unprocessed, processed, or added. Naturally occurring sugars and starches include fruits, nuts, seeds, grains, legumes, and vegetables. Carbohydrates from fruit provides energy in the form of naturally occurring sugar, dietary fiber, vitamins, minerals, and micronutrients. Carbs from legumes provide energy in the form of sugars and starches, protein, dietary fiber, vitamins, minerals, and micronutrients. Whole grain carbs provide energy in the form of starch, protein, dietary fiber, vitamins, minerals, and micronutrients. Tubers provide energy primarily in the form of starch, protein, dietary fiber, vitamins, minerals, micronutrients, and are an excellent source of potassium. Refined sugars added to thousands of foods provide empty carbohydrate calories. Refined sugar carbs provide only energy. They are lacking in fiber and also have little or no nutrients compared to other sources of carbohydrates. The American diet is generally a high refined carbohydrate, low fiber diet, providing less than 50% of the recommended 25 grams of fiber for a 2,000 calorie diet. Carbohydrate fiber comes from eating plant foods. It slows digestion of carbohydrates, promotes regularity, and may reduce the risk of some cancers. The American low fiber diet is not due to a carbohydrate deficiency. It is due to too many Americans eating too many refined carbohydrates. Refined carbohydrates include white wheat flour, white rice, and sugar. Refined white flour and rice have the fiber-rich bran and vitamin-rich germ removed. Refining leaves only the carbohydrate-rich endosperm. Overweight and obese Americans are told to avoid refined rice, even though polished rice is the main source of carbohydrate energy for billions of people around the world who are not overweight or obese. Some diet plans would ban a meal like this simply because it has white rice. They ban white rice due to its high glycemic index, but the index applies only to the rice. Add vegetables and protein and you dramatically reduce the glycemic index of the rice. Some American fad diet plans eliminate all foods containing refined carbohydrates. Unlike refined sugars and flavored sugar water beverages, starchy foods, including refined wheat and rice, take longer to digest than simple sugars. Sugars are easier to break down than starches and absorbed more quickly into the bloodstream. Eating a diet high in refined carbohydrates, both sugars and starches, can cause blood glucose spikes. 
Regular blood sugar spikes from eating a diet of refined carbohydrates can lead to insulin resistance. Insulin resistance simply means your body's pancreas cannot produce enough insulin to remove sugar circulating in your blood. Insulin resistance can lead to type 2 diabetes. Currently, 30 million Americans have type 2 diabetes. One in three adult Americans have prediabetes. Diabetes is now the seventh leading cause of death in the United States and is thought to be a contributing factor in almost 250,000 deaths annually. Uncontrolled diabetes can cause eye damage and blindness, nerve damage, heart and blood vessel disease, kidney damage, foot and leg nerve damage, foot and leg amputation, and impaired hearing. Recent research indicates high blood sugar levels, even in the high normal range, can cause brain shrinkage, the loss of brain material. Your body needs sugar, and your brain is hardwired to like sweet foods. Sweet equals ripe, and ripe equals more sugar. More sugar equals more energy. The problem with the American diet is not too many carbohydrates. The problem is too many low-cost, refined, highly processed, low-fiber, carbohydrate-rich foods, like high-calorie, carbohydrate-rich, salty snacks, and sugar-sweetened beverages, including soft drinks, teas and fruit drinks, sports drinks and energy drinks. Many healthy, prepared foods are high in refined sugars, making them high-calorie, not-so-healthy foods. Dairy products are another source of carbohydrates containing the sugars lactose and galactose. In the United States, many ice cream products are essentially milk and refined sugar. A one-half cup serving has the equivalent of five to six teaspoons of sugar. Carbohydrates are an essential source of energy. About 60% of the glucose your body processes is used by your brain. Good carbs, like good foods, are minimally processed carbs. Good carbohydrates, like nuts, seeds, fruits, legumes, and vegetables, provide essential fiber, vitamins, minerals, and micronutrients. When your diet is low in fiber, vitamins, and minerals from foods, you may have to take dietary supplements. Most dietary supplements are an expensive, poor substitute for high-quality, low-calorie, minimally processed, carbohydrate-rich foods. Carbohydrate-rich plant foods provide a complex combination of vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients not provided by dietary supplements or by fats and meat protein. In part two of Good Carbs vs. Bad Carbs, I'll discuss how small changes can cut hundreds of refined carbohydrate calories without eliminating foods you love. If you have any questions about this video, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching.